everyone. Welcome back to another video. Um, I'm so glad you all are joining me today. I hope everyone had a chance to get out and enjoy the sunshine. If it's sunny in your area, it's sunny here uh, where I am. So I did get a chance to go out a little bit and enjoy the, um, the weather. Um, so uh, if you didn't get a chance to get outside, hopefully you did something else that's fun today. Um, so happy Tuesday. Um, it's very hot in here because it's springtime, I guess, and we're trying to not turn our air conditioner on, so I'm a little hot, but um, hope y'all bear with me with that. Um, that's why I don't have my jean jacket on. It's right behind me, though, because sometimes when you go into the stores, the air conditioner is on full blast. So it's the only thing about the spring is like, how do you dress, right? You want to dress cool, but then when you go into some places, it's too cool inside. Mm. Anyways, I digress. Way off topic. But anyways, today um, we're going to be talking about bag size comparison. And before I get into that, um, welcome to Classic Handbags. Here at Classy Handbags, we talk about all things related to handbags. So if you are into that kind of thing, uh, this is the right channel for you. So I hope you like the video or subscribe if you haven't already or just want to just join us as we chat about it. Um, so like I said earlier, today's topic is bag size comparison. And I just wanted to get everyone's opinion, um, and you can drop your opinion in the comments because I'd be so interested to see what everyone thinks about do we whether we prefer many, many bags, like probably like your size, I don't know, 26 and, and on, or micro bags, which I do not own any micro bags because I can barely fit my things into a mini bag, but the micro bags are so on trend right now. And they are even smaller than the mini bags. So that I think I've seen some like literally this small. Um, or do we prefer medium sized bags? Um, or do we prefer large size bags like your tote bags or, you know, hobo big style bags? Um, so, or does it just depend right on what your, uh, uh, what your styling with it for the day or what the occasion is? Um, I have a lot of handbags, so I tend to switch out of my handbags quite frequently. Um, if I can wear one handbag one whole week, that's that's doing really good for me. Um, but I tend to, I own every size except for, like I said, the micro size. Um, and I've kind of increased my crossbody collection due to my daughter. It's just easier having a crossbody when I have the stroller and things like that in my, in my baby bag. However, I'm still a big bag girl at heart. I love a good size tote bag. I love a good size, medium size satchel or Boston style doctor bag. Um, small bags, like I said, I'm kind of getting into, I don't ever see me owning a micro bag, but I think those bags are so darn cute. Like the little coach tabbies in the size twenties, they're so cute. Um, but for example, right, I'm not going to get, I have some bags I'm going to show y'all and I just would love y'all's opinion. I'm right. I don't think there's a right or wrong answer on which type of size you do prefer, or if you prefer all of them. Um, and I'll kind of give my opinion again at the end of the video. Um, so before I show y'all that, I did want to say the verse, um, of the day. So it's April. I want to say today is the 9th. Right? Yes. Today is April 9th. I'm not, uh, I'm working with my baby right now. I don't really have a job at the moment. So I kind of forget what days of the week it is, but April 9th, becoming who God made you to be isn't about discovering who you are. It's about becoming more aware of how you're naturally designed. And I kind of like that. So who are we? Are we being authentic to our true selves um, on how um, the creator, the God made us? I, I like that. I like to reflect on that. I hope I'm being as true to myself as I can be, but that's the question I'll pose to y'all. All right. So this is kind of what I would consider a small bag, or actually I would even put this in the mini bag category. Some people would think this is a small bag. I think this is a mini bag and I'll tell you why. This is the Kate Spade small flap crossbody. I think I got this at the outlet when they were having their Black Friday sale last year. My husband actually purchased this as a uh, early um, Christmas gift for me. And I did not pay that much attention to the measurements on this bag, which is eight inches length, um, 4.75 inches height, and um, one, uh, inch width. 
So your, your small bag, right, or tiny bag, and I thought I could at least fit my crossbody. I was thinking this was more like a just regular small, like kind of comparable to the Coach 26 size where I can at least fit my, you know, my phone and sanitizer and all my things that I carry on a daily basis. But when I was trying out this bag, um, I learned I couldn't hardly fit anything in here. I'm, not, I'm exaggerating, but... I mean, yes, I could fit my phone and I have a big uh, Samsung Ultra 22, so it's comparable to the Note back in the day. That barely kind of lays across here, but it does fit and it's just this. Um, and maybe my key fob, not my six key ring holder, so I would have to take some keys off and maybe a lip gloss. That's just kind of, I need to carry a little bit more than that. So uh, what I realized about this bag, it has some card slots in the back too and like a front zipper. You can tell I, I'm going to probably give this to my daughter when she gets old enough because I haven't even taken the tags off here. But, um, but I just realized that it's more like a wallet on chain, which is really, really cute. Like I said, these bags are super cute. Um, it's just, I, I found it just a little bit too tiny for me to wear on a daily basis. But if you don't carry a whole lot, this is a perfect size for you, right? Um, I see me carrying this bag probably at the amusement park or when we're, if we go on vacations and I'm probably going to be outdoors or something like that and I don't really need to carry my whole car keys or my whole life, right? Just my phone and a couple of cards. This bag would be perfect and it's still super cute, right? It's black so you can wear a lot of stuff with it. But I just found that on a daily basis it's a little bit too too tiny for me. But I would put this in the in my opinion, the micro category. Like I said, all this is my opinion, so there's no right or wrong answer for this. But, um, and then it came in like a little strap, so really cute. Um, so that's kind of what I would say is like a small or, or actually just micro for me. The next example of a small, smaller bag, I would say, is this Coach Rowan. So this is a popular um, Coach I guess mini satchel from the Coach Outlet, and it's Rowan, R-O-W-A-N. For those of y'all that know, y'all are probably familiar with this Coach style. They've had the Rowan for um, quite some time, and mostly the signature print I've seen a lot over the years. They used to have like a Bennett style bag, which was a medium size satchel years ago, and I wish they'd bring that back because that was a little bit bigger than this, but this is actually, I would put this in a small category because this bag, um, is about 10.5 inches length, uh, 6.25 inches height, and 5.5 inches width or wide. And believe it or not, I thought at first, um, I was like, I used to have this bag and I sold it in a different print years ago. And I was like, oh, this bag is too tiny. Y'all just heard me go on this long rant about how I like big bags and I, can, I need to carry my kitchen sink with me. But my stuff actually fits in this bag quite nicely now. Um, what I have noticed about handbags is our styles can change, right? Our lifestyle can change. And like I mentioned, me being a new mom now, I tend to kind of carry a little bit smaller items. And so if I want to carry a crossbody for the day, but still don't want the size that I just showed you a minute ago with the Kate Spade bag, this bag tends to be the perfect size for me. Um, and I, I'm not going to get into like what's in the bag, but like this fits a whole lot. It fits a compact wallet. I have my six key ring holder, my sanitizer. I even have my pocket PM Louis Vuitton agenda in here, a, a wristlet in here, card case, earbuds. I mean, quite a few items and it's super, super cute. So this bag would be, I would say, even though this is a smaller bag, I would consider this a small bag. Um, this would be a great bag as an everyday bag. You know, um, I don't really see uh, it not being an everyday bag if you would want it to be. And I do like carrying big notebooks. You could just carry a big notebook on the outside with you, or I always carry a book because I'm, I'm a nerd and I love to read. Um, so I always like to carry the book I'm reading in my handbag, but I would just, if I, would do, if I am carrying this bag, I'd probably just carry like a separate tote or probably put my book or notebook in my daughter's baby bag. So this bag works. Uh, this little keychain, I just, I believe I got this from Etsy, if I'm not mistaken. I just thought it was really cute, um, but you can put any bag charm that you want on here. But but yeah, this is the Coach Rowan, and I think this is a perfect small bag for me because I do think this is still smaller for a satchel kind of bag. 
And this is the, uh, this is what I would consider a big bag or um, a big tote, right? This is the Coach Willow tote bag. And this is 15.75 um, inches in length, 10.75 inches in height. I was like, am I reading the same thing? And 5.75 inches in width. And y'all, this bag, and I did get it customized, as, as y'all can tell, with um, my initials and things like that. I just, I love customizing. I love that Coach offers that option for anyone that just wants a customized bag. It doesn't look like everyone else's bag. Um, but, you know, this is just a, your average tote. One thing I do wish that the Willow totes had is just adjustable straps, but, um, so it's not hanging so low <laughs> on your shoulder. But then... Um, I've heard some, some people say in the wintertime when you're wearing uh, big coats that a longer strap handle is actually preferable. So that, that, could, be, <laughs> that, could, that could work too. But anyways, um, this bag is just your average, you know, it has a medium divider for like a laptop if you want or a tablet or something like that. Or I even just put like my wallet or things that I don't want out in the open in the zipper compartment in the middle and just two compartments that... Uh, magnetic close or turn key turn key lock and a magnetic closure in the back but in any style tote y'all get the picture for a big bag hobo bag um i just would consider this a big bag i love totes um would i carry this every day absolutely <laughs> i am a big bag girl um when i was going to the office before covid or even if i'm going to target or something like that i definitely love a big bag um, it just depends on my mood, right? It depends on do I feel like carrying a big bag? Do I not have my baby bag with me? I might put some some of baby items in here and just kind of use this as a baby bag and a personal bag. Um, it just, just really depends. Um, but I know some people are like, absolutely not. I do not like big, big bags. Like, give me a crossbody or that little uh, Kate Spade micro mini bag that I showed y'all earlier and I'm good. Um, so I guess it just really depends on you know, what you prefer. Uh, so uh, I did say I would uh, give y'all my opinion on what I like. Um, as y'all could probably guess, and I've said numerous times in this video, I, my favorite are big bags um, or medium size bags. Um, I am starting to appreciate the smaller bags for sure. Um, but like I said, I, give me a good uh, speedy kind of style or even the Speedy 25 and the Louis Vuitton, like those are uh, kind of like, you know, medium to small bags or on the medium side. I love a good medium to large bag. Extra, extra large. Um, I don't really carry like extra large bags on a daily basis. Um, I kind of consider like weekender kind of bags extra large. Or I used to have the large Marc Jacobs um a tote bag right the tote bag and it was just a large size I think those bags are gorgeous too but they just were too big for me to carry every single day um but a large tote like I just showed y'all um or that little medium or small bag yes I would carry that every day those are my favorite kind of bags so I guess <laughs> medium to large bags but more on the medium side um, if I'm carrying every day, um, I love a good crossbody or small bag for certain occasions. If you're going to a show, amusement parks, um, even going to dinner, right? Um, I found that when I go out with my husband, we go out, I don't really like to carry a big tote bag. <laughs> I might carry a crossbody or a small bag. Um, you know, I think it just depends, right? Um, on, on what your style is. I just think right now the trend is definitely the mini micro <laughs> bags. And I give those girls and guys props who can rock those kind of bags, especially the micro bags. I just find that I can barely fit anything in them, but if you can make it work, I think, like I said, they're so adorable and adorable and cute. Um, you don't have to carry everything in the kitchen sink with you. Uh, more power to you. I love it, love them on other people. Um, I've just tried to make them work for my lifestyle and I'm like, oh, I can fit my, my lip gloss and just a little bit of stuff in there. Um, but I would, but I don't want to make this video too long, but I would just love to hear you all's uh, thoughts on this. And if you don't mind dropping what you think in the comments on um, the big bag debate, you know, if there is a debate right now, I don't think there really is. But since we are seeing a trend with the mini 
or micro bags? Do y'all think big bags are coming back in style? Do you like big bags or does it just depend? Drop me a comment below to let me know what you guys think. And if not, um, I'll see you on the next one. <laughs> Bye.